So children, pH scale. What we call this a pH scale? It is called as universal indicator. It will indicate the acids and bases. It is made up by made up. It is a mixture of several indicators. It is a mixture of several indicators. Okay, so I told you when it is, it will, it is a, just a scale which will measure the concentration of H plus ions. The concentration of H plus ions. Okay, so this pH, a different concentration of H plus ions, different colors are shown. Different colors are shown, okay, on the pH paper, okay. So, this is about pH scale and it is introduced by a scientist known as Sorensen. It is introduced by the scientist known as Sorensen. So, I told you the pH scale consists of uh, nearly, <clears throat> it consists of 0 to 14 readings and uh, 7 is the, the seven reading generally neutral substances what do you mean by neutral substances neither acids are nor bases they will be having ph just like our distilled water they are neither acids or nor bases they will be having ph 7 so those are called as neutral substances all our acids like hcl hno3 h2so4 Sulfuric acid, acidic acid, CH3COOH, all these comes under this acids which are having less than 7. That means maybe 6, maybe 5, maybe 4, maybe 3, maybe 2, maybe 1 or maybe 0 even. Okay. And all the bases like uh, NaOH, N MgOH twice, uh, NH4OH. All these consist of pH above 7. So it may be 8 or 9 or 10 or 11 or 12 or 13 or 14. Whatever it may be. So acids will be having the pH below 7. And bases will be having the pH above 7. And neutral substance the pH will be 7. Acid the are the substances which are having pH below 7 and bases are the substances which are having pH above 7 and neutral substances are the substances which are whose pH is 7. Okay, I am telling you the pH scale uh, will show you the, depending upon the hydrogen and concentration. The substance will uh, show different colors, uh, different hydrogen concentration I told you. Okay, so in the pH scale, in the middle, you will see the green color and here the strong acids will be either the red or orange color and the strong bases will be black or violet color. Okay, so the seven or this seven will be, the seven, these will be and green color and here these will be 12, 13, 14 these strong acids like in sorry strong bases like NaOH they will show either violet or black color and strong acids like uh, HNO3 uh, that means nitric acid they will show you 0, 1, 2 they will show you orange color okay and all the middle who all are the 3, 4, 5, 6 they will be in 8, 9, 10, 11 all this will show the you green color okay so I will show you the pH paper we have it in our laboratory I will show you one day okay this is about pH and we are reading about pH what is the use why pH is introduced in our syllabus because the pH is playing a great role in our day-to-day -day life. It is playing a great role in our day-to-day -day life. Let us see how it is uh, affecting our day-to-day -day life. First, we are going to see pH effect on aquatic life. Aquatic life. 
water the animals or the plants which are living in the water they are called as uh, aquatic animals or aquatic plants that is called as aquatic life the flora and fauna which lives in water is called as aquatic life isn't it so now we are going to see how this ph is affecting the aquatic life for this you should know what is acid rain what is acid rain you know what is rain when the water evaporates and precipitates it will in the form of rain you know in the summer the water from the water bodies will get evaporated and forms clouds and it precipitates as rain you know that uh, now we are going to see what is this acid rain generally in the uh, the rain water ph will be 7 but sometimes the rain water ph will be below 5 what is the reason why it is happening so that we are going to see now due to industrialization the industries are increasing as uh, the population is increasing the needs are increasing as the needs are increasing the production is increasing the where from where we are getting this production from the industries as the industries are increasing in their process industries will use some materials and also release some materials okay they will use some materials and as by products are as few uh, as a exhaust as a gases they will release some materials also some in some industrialization process they will release a sulfur dioxide gases leather industries particularly leather leather industry they will use sulfur dioxide gases in the process of cleaning of leather what the substances we use from that sulfur dioxide gases released into the atmosphere and you know that atmosphere consists of water in the form of in the form of water vapor the water is present in the form of water vapor what is happening to this water vapor and sulfur dioxide when this water is reacting with water vapor is sorry when this sulfur dioxide is reacting with a water vapor it will produce h2so4 sulfuric acid so at the time of rain this sulfuric acid will mix with the water and fall in the form of acid rain okay acid there generally the rain's ph will be neutral or near to neutral but because of the sulfur dioxide gas it is mixing with water and it is forming as a sulfuric acid and that, that acid is falling as rain then what are the effects you know our great monument taj mahal which is one taj mahal which is a actually bright to every indian isn't it the ta taj mahal is becoming in the yellow why what is the reason because this taj mahal is you know it is made up of marble just it is made up of marble calcium with the, the this is reacting with sulfuric acid and yellowing of taj mahal is happening due to this acid rains actually in, um, in uh, before some years agra is surrounded with many leather, leather industries and leather industries i told you it is releasing the sulfur dioxide gases and these gases are mixing with water and they are producing sulfuric acid and uh, near taj mahal every time they used to give acid rains and because of the acid rains uh, the taj mahal started uh, alloying so then they investigated and came to the conclusion that these uh, leather industries are the reason for the yellowing of Taj Mahal and they shifted all the leather industries from Agra to some other place. So here when a stone is changing its color because of acid rain you can understand what will happen to the life. A stone is uh, reacting with the acid and it is changing its color. A stone, lifeless stone, which we say that very strong. If it is changing its color, what uh, what uh, will happen? You can imagine what is happening to the aquatic life. When this acid rains, 
when acid rains uh, that is a uh,